Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to answer the question, how come as females, why do we get these intense cravings and need for carbohydrates uh, during the two weeks leading up to our bleed or um, what we consider as like the menstruation uh, phase of our menstrual cycle? I'm going to discuss three major reasons why this phenomenon occurs. Reason number one is that our metabolic rate actually increases by up to 400 calories after ovulation so this increase in need for energy could also propel us to want to eat a little bit more or you just may notice their appetite is higher those two weeks leading up to your menstruation the second reason has to do with the declining levels of estrogen. As estrogen declines, this also impacts the production of two major chemical messengers, one known as serotonin, that feel-good hormone, and the second one is dopamine, which drives us to have that motivation to seek for pleasure and reward. This is why a lot of females may feel a little bit more sluggish or just lack of energy to even want to do anything. Uh, they may feel a little bit more moody, sad, depressed, and it all has to do with serotonin and dopamine. Now, eating carbohydrates is actually one of the easiest ways to boost serotonin and dopamine, at least temporarily. Now, rather than grabbing your favorite chocolate bar or having a pint of ice cream, what I would suggest here is because of the need for higher carbohydrates, try to incorporate more complex, slow digesting carbohydrates at each of your meal time. So things like wild rice, it could be quinoa, oatmeal, sweet potatoes, those are all fantastic choices. And this way, you can still support your body in producing optimal levels of serotonin and dopamine without basically sabotaging your diet. The third reason I want to share with you today is that with declining levels of estrogen, once again, it actually impacts another hormone known as CCK. CCK is released in the stomach upon fat and protein ingestion, meaning when we eat a meal that contains protein and fat, that will initiate CCK to be released in the stomach and then sent to the brain. CCK supports digestion, but it also increases the level of satiation or satiety that one feels after a meal. So with lower estrogen levels, this actually decreases CCK's potency or ability to kind of initiate that feeling of satiety and this is why you may feel you have a bottomless pit after a meal so the next time that you are experiencing these intense cravings or desire to eat carbohydrate rich food just understand what's happening within your body and give yourself a break and honor and respect your hormones okay well that's it for me today i hope you found this information useful and until next time relish everybody